My name is Sly Fox Town, and welcome back to some more cute world. If you're wondering what the fuck is happening, we are not gonna be playing with our warrior class anymore. We're gonna take a complete different direction or everything. I already grinded a character to a decent level uh, and everything, so we can actually explore more of the land, see more of the game, and actually showcase more of the skills that I have acquired throughout the whole game. And explain to you guys, regardless if you're watching other people, if you look the weak or whatever, helping all those homies that are new to this game. Again, this is a, in a very early alpha. It has a lot of bugs. A lot of them are actually very unique and helpful. Some of them are really game changing that don't even matter. But let's bring it up and show you what we got. This is the level that I left off with my main warrior class, Sly Frog. And here is the class we'll be using Sly Frog Returns. We're gonna be using the sniper. I think I'm gonna change it to the scout. This is gonna be my only single player character for now. And in the future, I will be playing other shit like that. But let me break it down to you. I believe we should definitely, definitely, definitely should uh, try a new world. So I'm gonna delete all my worlds here. Let's delete all these worlds. Uh huh. And bam. And we're gonna create a new world. And we're gonna name it. I think there was a good world where you can level up pretty fast. So it's 17, I believe. And I think it's a boss spawns pretty near you where we can just keep leveling up whenever we get close to town. And we're gonna make call this cute world. See. <laughs> Alright. And here we are. So to those wondering why am I gonna showcase a class that already is leveled up and everything one because I already showcased the grinding uh, that that requires in this game right now it's mainly mostly grinding but also exploring there's a lot of different biomes there's a lot of different things that could be happening I have a cat he still we, we still have bad luck in this one Fuck yeah, bad luck! Bad luck, 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 uh, let's see, where's the town? There's the town, and I'm gonna be showcasing a lot more. Uh, I actually, if you didn't, uh, I was gonna tell you guys, I at the moment I had almost uh, up to t that that first day that I recorded, I had almost 31, 31 fucking episodes for you guys, but I decided to cut it out because it was very newbie, and at this point, a lot of people know a lot more of the game. Even my fans knew a lot more. They were trying to, like, explain to me that the way I could tame uh, a bark beetle was with bread, which I didn't know, and a lot of different things that, that you guys were trying to tell me that I already knew because, oh god, there's a the horse. All right. He seems very low level. He's white tech, so we should be able to take him out pretty quick, actually. Get out of here. Oh, what the fuck are you doing?! Demon dog! Duh! Alright. And I'm gonna break down the ranger class right now. Uh, a lot of people say that the ranger class is the most, most bug one out there. I believe the rogue class also has a lot of bugs that, that are very game changing. What is it? Oh, level 24 wind spirit. That's cool. And uh, I'm gonna try to break down everything that I know again. Uh, I don't care which class is the most bug really. I just care for which class will let me go places fastest without breaking the game. And which class am I gonna got, have more fun? Clean dungeons and whatnot. That's that's what I'm going for. And uh, I'm gonna explain something real quick with the ranger. Uh, right now, you got two different things. You got the scout. Apparently, the scout is the most broken one because when you go to uh, servers, if you were to use this ability, which is called scout swiftness, it will break the game. Unfortunately, uh, in single player, it doesn't. It seems like it doesn't do anything to ruin it and it works how it should so I think I might switch again from sniper to scout because it's a lot better for me uh, and and it just makes the game a lot faster and I'm gonna teach you guys a little quick trick with the with the with the ranger or just a, yeah with the ranger class if you were to uh, and this is a lot of the items already unlocked and everything I'm gonna be selling a lot of them I don't think I need them this is a little thing as soon as you have the ability to unlock a retreat you should be able to, if you press 2, bounce back, right? You just bounce back and it's retreat. But, if you were to be either looking down or looking this way at your character, he will gain a boost, a movement boost. And I'll, I'll show you guys right now. I'm going to do it just looking down first, all the way down. Let's see if it works. Boom. And then you jump. And look at that. You got a big, big, big movement boost. But, 
if you were to do the same with the hang glider, instead of going down, you will be traveling up into new areas. I believe the rogue has something where he can fly without anything. I'm not quite sure. I know that the Steven showed me. I know p showed me that. I'm like, what? I thought that the that this is pretty broken, but reality is I, I was talking to p the other day and I thought this was going to be a good idea that it, they should add something where you can go fa like fa like fastest like or a lot farther in, in like traveling, like go fast traveling because I think that's one of the things that kills Cute War for me as a warrior that I have no movement whatsoever and yeah you could say well if you want to go fast you just put allocate more points on your pet but allocating more points on my pet at the moment I have 14 of them he goes uh, uh, 160 a little bit more faster like, and I'll show you how fast 100 what is it what, how much I have right now I have 158 and this is how I walk and now this is how I walk with a pet yeah, the difference is a little bit noticeable, but it's not great, like game changing as compared to me going with a glider, going down, looking up, boop, doing two, and flying a lot faster. So, that's something that I would think. I was talking to P Bat, and he brought a really good idea that they should have planes in this, like a little plane that you can build. But the only thing is, in, in a way to not make the glider use, like useless, is to uh, put fuel. That anytime that you do trips or whatever, that you had to spend money on fuel and I thought well that's actually really clever I like that so let's see if I can change all my classes to uh, swiftness or to scout uh, we need to in order to look for where the fuck we're gonna find this we gotta go to the adventure district and let's see da 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 adventure adventure do not do not take for granted how much I care and love this game cause I've been playing non-stop plenty of times this is like my fifth character that I that I've done, so... Yeah, I, I'm, I'm a little bit addicted, you could say that. Alright, that's the archer area, so let's go to the dude. In, uh, to anybody wondering, you can actually reallocate points. You just gotta go to your master. Uh, my master here is the ranger, his name is Gekal the Human. Hello there, I'm a frog, teach me your rights! But no, you just wanna go to the one that has the weapon that you could actually use. In this case, he has a crossbow, so I can go to him. And you don't have to talk to him, you just press X. And you can start relocating your skills. Uh, I Now I am now, again, a scout. And I'm going to switch a lot of these points. Because I really don't care for riding pets. I'm just going to leave one, though. And I'm going to put them all on this. Because shooting fast or just moving fast is pretty awesome. And let me show you what the skill does. It actually allows me... This is how I shoot now with my left click. Right click on crossbow, you can actually spam and go and shoot really fast, which is really one of the things that sells it to me. The fact that I can do a lot of damage quick, but if I were to like just hit a monster or anything and hit it with my left one, it will build my MP on the right. And then if I charge it, I can actually knock back monsters or anything. But the fact that I can fast shoot is pretty awesome. But if I were to want to fast shoot with my left one, I just activate my scale, which is going to make me look like Neo. And then this is how fast I shoot. Which is amazing. So hopefully that's a little bit of insider of what it all takes. Uh, let's go to the crafting area and, and go. Let's do more things. I'm trying to inform you guys. I, I'm sorry if it's boring to like Sly Fox. We really know this, but a lot of homies might not know this. We need to get some flasks. So let's go to the potion area, and we're gonna sell a lot of these weapons that we do not need. If they're not rangers, we do not need them. Unless we do multiplayer, but that's gonna be in the future, and I don't have multiplayer on my on my channel. Not at the moment. Don't want to do multiplayer right now. Multiplayer is really fun, though. I, I'm gonna tell you something for sure. Uh, multiplayer is one of the best things in this game, actually. If everybody's doing it legit too, because you don't want to go into class and everybody's like power leveling or whatever. And there's certain two things you can do. There's two things you can definitely level a lot faster. If you were to play with friends and I am all for that friend playing awesome but there's also this thing where uh, you can power level crazy I had oh wow she just said you bitch Lana I ain't trying to make bitch this year and you're gonna fucking come and do this Nah, that's fine you can stay there um, but there's this thing called power level where you can just essentially like farm uh, boss but reality is you don't do anything you just go to the server and you level up I remember trying that once and and I, it, even though it's legit in the game, you just gotta do like a little, little thing and I'll explain that to you guys. It didn't feel gratifying. For me, like, I would exhaust every option that I have. Ooh, what is this? 
Crit two. Oh, crit sucks. Uh, by the way, I always will be looking at the crit. Crit is for me what is most important because that was the the higher the crit, the higher the chance of doing a lot of damage. And my character by itself is already fast, especially with that third ability. So I really don't care about getting a lot of tempo. Even though a lot of people are like, you should worry about the tempo. But I don't care about that, but the tempo. So there you go. Uh, this is all warriors. Crit. Pfft. Bad. Mage. Warrior. That's a gold ring. And that is, uh, that's pretty bad, actually. Crit sucks. What is this? this is Brent? Mage? No. Damn. Ah, I saw that. I should have looked at it. Crit is bad. Bad. I don't like bows, really. I'm all about them crossbow life. Uh, mm, crit 1.9. Hello there. You will definitely be coming to my hands. Are you gloves? Yes, you go. Alright, let me put some green gloves on my hands. With that extra added crit. What is this? Crit sucks. Nope. 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 Uh, nope. What is this? Oh, nah. Crit is pretty good, but this is for rogue. Rogue. Boomerang. Eh. So all this. Let's see. 2.3. More damage. No, my kit. Mine does a lot more damage. What the hell is this? 0.4. Oh, that's cute, but not important. And yeah, let me. Let, I'm still selling all this stuff again. Just making sure that I sell the things that I want to. What the hell is that? <gasps> that looks so cool. God damn it. I want that. It's for a warrior. I can't use it. Alright. Now that we have sold pretty much everything. No, holy shit, come on! How much shit did I have? Chris sucks. Mage, warrior. Chris sucks, Chris sucks. Not mine. Man, I have a lot to sell. I did not know how much I play this. <laughs> For a mage, damn it, come on. Hey, look, I could be a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Mage, crossbow, it sucks. All right, well, I'm selling everything I can. It's a good chunk of damage, but not really that important. Again, I'm sorry, guys. I, it's just part of the game. I'm going to try to record everything that I can with the most knowledge that I can. So, essentially, you guys started watching a lot. All right. We got this. All right. We just saw everything else. What is this? Is this any good? Nope. What about this? No. I need to find legendary items. Seriously. Low. That's what I really want. Crit sucks. Uh, crit sucks. What is this? No. All right. Hey, I think we are done. Sweet. Wow, we have four gold, 97 plant coins. And uh, I'll explain everything as we go with that, too. Uh, I'm going to make sure everybody's up to par. I have a lot of food here that we can tame a very good animal. Uh, the one that I have right now is just a cat and an owl at the moment. Yeah, I have. Uh, oh, no, I have a fly. I have an owl, and then I have a cat. The cat is the only one that I can ride, so that's really the one that I care for. And let's see. We have all the skills allocated. Everything is good. Uh, armor should be up to par, if anything, because I adapted a lot of it. Majority of it. But let's see if we can adapt anything. All right, so let me explain adapting to all the homies out there. If you look at the map, you're going to find in every town a giant-looking... Uh, lipstick, dildo, crayon, just a giant building, whatever you want to call it. We're going to go to this thing, and anytime you kill bosses, bosses are going to be the ones that have these kinds of rotating swords around them. You see these little swords? When you kill one of those monsters, the bosses, and the rotating swords, you will gain what is we call platinum coins. And that's my phone. Let me mute it because I'm a piece of shit. Da -da -da. Mm. Mute it. All right. Ba bam All right, so let's go and check this out. All right, cool. So we're gonna go to the crayon or the giant. Yeah, we're gonna go to we're gonna go to the church. This is Sunday church. All right, we're going to Sunday church, and inside this building, there's gonna be an individual with two swords on their heads. That's why you had to kill those things with the swords in their heads. And if we were to let's say we want to adapt something like this, looks like it's very promising. It will adapt the uh, armor will go. The power itself, the power itself will match what we have. And you can only adapt a weapon or armor once. So right now, this is normally power 48. Well, let's look for a, a, 
a gem that could be actually better. Let's see. I, the thing is, I don't have that amount of, of coins either, so I'm fucked. At this point, yeah, I, I can't do these. But here you go. We need to kill more bosses now. And we can actually make the item that we have match our power level. Which I think is really fucking cool where like, yeah, you, you can add more things to the item, you're fucked. No, you can actually add more things. So that's pretty fucking cool. I like that. Hopefully that can help you guys out immensely. Let's see. And let's let's go over here. Also, let me explain something real quick. Wait, oh, hello. Always go to these people. They will tell you either tips of how to catch an animal or they will give you another boss battle area. Yep, Barrack Mountains, and now Barrack Mountains are there. So now that's that's a place we can go, and we should go there next to see if we can take down the monster. But let me show you a little trick that, that I learned through it. And this is how people power level. Uh, somebody will stay in the inn, and people will just stay around a boss that will just spawn. All right, so you see the swords? If I talk to this person, the, cho the sword should change the location. See? That was, there wasn't three on the left before. Change again. Swords keep changing. Location. I don't know if this one is staying. Yup, wait. Now it went, one of the swords went back to Barrack Mountain. So we're going to leave it like that. Personally, I, I want to go fly to the first two that are closers. And then we're going to go to Barrack Mountain. But you can restart everything. All the bosses, all the monsters. When you go to the innkeeper, you talk to. Not only you make the night into day. But you also... Uh, restart missions and if you're more comfortable this is a very good way to grind monsters to grind anything to be honest uh, let's see where was it when we were over here was when when we fought that horse let's see if we can we can fight that horse in a second to see if he spawns let's go there fast traveling bam 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 and then we can actually use our thing to do go extra fast uh, this will cause servers to crash guys if you do this on multiplayer servers a lot of servers won't be able to handle this, so I do not promote this to be done in in multiplayer. Try to stay away from this kind of stuff in multiplayer as much as you can. And there's again, there's the pony that we kill. Sweet. So let's kill the, the pony. Oh god. Let's kill the pony to see if we can this is a great way to like farm and get experience. So let me go here beep, 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 and take the pony out. Wow, that's that pony dropped that. And kick it. And kill it. And here you go. See, if I hit him with my left, my MP will charge. And then if I hold my right click and then let go, he gets stunned and does massive damage. So, there's 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 a lot of things. And we got 46. We got power 24. Another thing that I found out that I kept com confusing. You see how I have Ice Spirit uh, 61. I have power 17. All these things you can put on your weapons and they will give you specific traits. Like, if I were to put this ice spirit on my weapon when I shoot monsters enough they'll start going slower with this one over here if I were to shoot monsters they'll get extra damage because it's a fire damage uh, with wind spirit I would be able to move faster and on top of that my weapon would shoot faster and I believe there's an unholy cube that's the last one I believe that would uh, when you hit monsters enough you get lifesteal which is pretty fucking awesome if you like ask me because lifesteal it's, it's good, but I don't I don't know if it's it's not like hardcore like lifesteal like if you if, if you play League of Legends If you have like two of those swords that that, that suck lifesteal that you can get a lot of lifesteal back right away No, it, just, it doesn't work like that uh, it, It's it's a little bit of lifesteal. It's not a lot. So that's something to think about. Uh, did I get enough potions? I did not get let's go back to town to get the potions and then we should be good. I forgot that there's always music playing on these videos, so <laughs> you guys are always entertained either by me or the music. All right, so let's go to the area that we were supposed to buy potions in, where we stole our things. Let's buy the potions, or at least a flask. All right, there we go. That's the place. That's the place. I know the place. It's right here. Ew. Going flowers is a kind of my thing. Also, hopefully, as you guys watch, I can explain a lot more things, so you guys get better at the game and you can showcase. Oh, cotton candy. What is cotton candy for? Did I already have enough of these? Oh yeah, I do. Cotton candy. Oh, that's for a sheep. Yeah, yeah. Cotton candy for a sheep. Is there a sheep around here? I don't think so. Do I have pancakes? 
Yeah, I have pancakes, but what is pancakes for? Let's check the wiki real quick. Uh, hopefully I can find a way to not make this crash like it happened before to me. Uh, pancakes. Pancakes are for... Let's see... No, where's the pancakes? I'm trying to figure out what that pancakes are for. Pancakes are for a biter, huh? A biter, you say? All right. Oh no, it did still crash. You gotta be shitting me. Ah, come on.